Hey y'all, Sean Dosta here. As an auctioneer that specializes in fundraising, I suppose we should create definitions. For instance, there is some debate between the difference between a benefit auction and a benefit auction. Now you might think I said the same thing, but there's actually a difference. Benefit auctions, both of them, are auctions in which there is no product but the desired result is to raise cash money, to raise revenue. Benefit auctions in small towns, in large towns, anywhere can be, and this is the first definition, they are to raise money for a community member that may have died, uh, may have gone through some financial difficulties, has health issues, and typically you pick a venue, the venue donates the location in an effort to help. You go around to local businesses and you round up merchandise. whether it's hotels or restaurants or even body shops will do some wonderfully painted ideas. Micro businesses might do wood carvings or things of that nature. But everything's donated. People come in and maybe they'll have a spaghetti dinner, maybe they'll have a pool tournament, maybe they'll have a poker run. Maybe the band will donate its time and talent. And you spend a day raising money for that individual or for that family. Then there is the benefit auction. More often known as a benefit gala. Gala. The charity gala. charity auction, fundraising auction, those are put on by nonprofit organizations. Now, I'm going to take my initial area of Columbus, Ohio. Now, I'm midway between Columbus, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Charleston, but Columbus being the, the one that I've studied. And when I took my trainings in the benefit auction industry, I looked at Columbus closely. There are 4,800 nonprofits in the Columbus, in the greater Columbus metro area. Not all of them are large. There's various sizes. And many don't do auctions, don't do galas, don't do fundraising. However, there are a few that are very passionate in whatever their nonprofit is for, and they are constantly raising money so that they can do more and more of their great works for their communities, for their cause. For their nonprofit. In those places, they're not going to really go to a donated venue. They're looking more to attract the large donors and make a splash. So they're going to have a venue that's a paid venue and guarantees the date, guarantees that nobody else is going to be there. They're going to get a sponsor, perhaps, that pays for that venue. They're going to have sponsored tables. They're going to have a catered event. And it's not going to be 
a like a church social where the, all the moms and grandmas and people get together and create a, a, a meal, a picnic, a buffet. It's going to be catered by professionals. Wait staff to bring you each course or to set up the buffet to dish it out. Uh, perhaps a paid bar. A business might sponsor the bar, might sponsor the dinner, might sponsor dessert. The band might be a big, large name band that's paid for showing up there. Again, it might be sponsored. But those are basically the two differences between benefit auctions and benefit galas, or benefit auctions. Um, and then of the larger benefit auctions or the recurring benefit auctions, you know, the annual events, those typically are different size as well. There are some events that raise ten, fifteen, five thousand dollars $5,000. Uh, there are some that raise twenty-five dollars to $50,000. There are those that raise fifty to a hundred. There's those that raise a hundred uh, five hundred thousand. There's those that are five hundred thousand above, and then there are those that raise in the millions annually. So, I hope that little bit of education helps. I'll be back with more later. I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. Bye bye.